Hello everyone, I am Dr. Supa and this is a part of video series on dental caries from the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics. Now we are going to talk about classification of dental caries. First, the definition of dental caries. It is an infectious microbiological disease of the teeth that results in localized dissolution and destruction of the classified tissues. Now, caries can be classified in different ways. Based upon location, it can be classified into pit and fissure caries, smooth surface caries, and root caries. Based upon the extent of caries, it can be incipient caries, which is not cavitated, and hence it is considered to be reversible, and it is cavitated or irreversible caries. Based upon the progression rate of caries, caries can be classified into acute or rampant caries, and chronic caries and arrested caries. Now comes G.V. Platt's classification of dental caries. It can be classified into five classes as given by G.V. Black and the sixth classification is Simon's modification. Class one is caries affecting pits and fissures on the occlusal third of molars and premolars and on the facial and lingual surfaces of the occlusal two thirds of molars and premolars and the lingual portion of the anterior teeth. Class 2 is caries occurring on the proximal surfaces of the posterior teeth, that is molars and premolars. Class 3 is caries affecting proximal surfaces of anterior teeth, that is the incisors and the cuspids, without involving the incisal angles. And class 4 is caries affecting proximal surfaces of anteriors, including the incisal angles of the anterior teeth. Class 5 is caries affecting the gingival one third of facial or lingual surfaces of anterior or posterior teeth. Now, class 6 is Simon's modification and it is caries affecting cusp tips of molars, premolars and cuspids and the incisal edges. Based upon WHO classification, caries is classified into D1 that is enamel lesion where there is no cavitation and hence these there is a possibility that it can be remineralized. D2 is again within the enamel but there is cavitation. D3 is lesion extending to dentin with cavitation and D4 is a dentinal lesion again but it is in close proximity to the pulp. Depending upon pathway of caries spread Caries can be classified into forward caries and backward caries. Backward caries typically spreads along the dentino enamel junction and undermines the overlying tooth structure. Based upon the number of tooth surfaces involved, caries can be classified into simple, which involves one surface of the tooth only, compound, which involves two surfaces, and complex, which involves more than Three surfaces. Three surfaces or more than three surfaces. If it is a new lesion, then the caries is called primary caries. And if it is a carious lesion occurring beneath or adjacent to an already uh, restored tooth, this is called secondary caries. Now, Mountain Hume gave a classification in 1997 which classifies carious lesion by combining both their site and size. So it has two parts. One is based on location and the other is based on size. Based on location, there are three sites. Site one is pits and fissures. Site two is contact area between two teeth. Site three is cervical area in contact with the gingival tissues. Now coming to the size classification, size zero, there is no cavitation and it can be remineralized. Size 1, there is small cavitation which requires uh, intervention and it needs to be restored. Size 2 is a moderate cavity which has not extended to cusps or edges. And size 3 is an enlarged cavity with involvement of incisal edge and at least one cusp which is undermined and this requires protection from the occlusal loading. Size 4 is an extensive cavity with bulk loss of tooth structure. So based on the site and size, the rows can be site, that is pits and fissures, 
contact area and cervical region and the columns are the size of the lesion minimal moderate enlarged and extensive and based on that the caries can be classified as 1.1 2.2 etc the next in the series will be the etiopathology of the dental caries till then thank you very much